what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of error or issue you're currently having with for honor so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what you do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me, guys. You will support my work on YouTube a little bit, and I'm going to really, really be thankful for that, and I'm going to thank you for that. So, anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So, the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is going to be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, clicking onto the window symbol and opening up your settings, navigating right onto update and security, and I know it's going to sound a little bit basic, guys, but stick around Windows update and down to the latest version of windows just to provide the best possible performance in general for your pc once you're finished and that, with that just simply enter this task and do the same thing for a graphics card so hit the application hit the driver uh, hit the browser and down to this version of your driver just to provide the best possible performance in general for your pc and yeah guys afterwards take your steam launcher or your launcher shortcut for me it's steam or your game shortcut on your desktop and simply right click it and go to the very bottom where it says properties once you're the properties, I want you to click into compatibility and simply copy my settings. So enable run this program in compatibility mode for it, select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations, as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend to restart your PC afterwards. And once it is restored, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right into your shortcut. Afterwards, I just simply want you to simply double click it and launch a game over the launcher, launch a game instantly, and this will probably fix your issue. Hey guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And I guess I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have one of late. See you at the next one, and bye.